Section 3.3 is titled Solving Systems of Linear Inequalities. In this section, we're going to look at how to solve these systems with a graphical technique. A system of inequalities, similar to a system of equations, uh, simply is two or more inequalities with two or more variables. That's it. Okay, so uh, really, in general, in order to have a system, you need more than one equation or more than one inequality. Directions say graph the system to solve. Okay, so if I'm going to graph the system, I need to put them in a y equals format to get them ready to graph. So this line, x minus 3y is less than 6. I'm going to subtract the x. Negative 3y is less than negative x plus 6. Divide by negative 3 flips the inequality. I get 1 third x minus 2. Okay. On my graph over here, 1 third x minus 2 starts at negative 2. 1 third is up 1, right 3. Like this. It's going to be a dotted line. And for now, I'm just going to keep in mind where the shading would be. The shading greater than the line is going to shade everything up above. I don't like to go crazy with shading too early in the process, but there it is. Everything up above that line is going to get shaded. Okay, the next one, solving this for y is a little bit easier. 2x plus y is greater than 1.5. I'm just going to subtract 2x. y is greater than negative 2x plus 1.5. So it starts at 1 and a half. Negative 2, down 2, right 1. And it continues that pattern. I can also go up and to the left. It is also going to be a dotted line. And I want greater than, greater than shades up above this line. Like that. Okay, so we've got our two lines. We've got greater than on each of them. So I want everything that is above and above and we can see that the overlap then would be everything that's right out here. And that would be it. So every point that I find out in this region when plugged in for x and y, and the system solves both inequalities. All right, here's an example of one for you to try on your own if you'd like. Uh, just pause and then resume play when you're ready to check your work. In this one, both equations are already, or inequalities are already solved for y, so they're ready to graph. The first one, negative 3x plus 2, starts at plus 2. Slope of negative 3, up 3, and left 1, or down 3, and right 1. This is going to be a dotted line, because there is no equal to. I want less than is going to shade everything below the line. This way. I also want y is greater than or equal to negative 1. That's going to be a solid line going through negative 1 on the y-axis. Greater than shades everything up above this line. 
So we can see with one going down and one going up, the intersection is going to be right in between these lines. Like that. Final example of the section, just one a little more interesting. We have a system of inequalities. There are four inequalities. And we're asked to find the area of the figure formed by the solution region. Notice that the first two are x equals. These are just vertical lines. Okay, vertical line. So I want a vertical line at negative 2. I want a vertical line at 3. Now, the one at negative 2, I'm shading greater than. Okay, greater than shades to the right of it. The one at 3 shades less than, which is to the left. So, so far, I only have an overlapping region between these two lines. Okay. Now, I want y is greater than negative x plus 1. It starts at 1, slopes negative 1, which means that it comes down. Like this. I want greater than, which means it's going to shade everywhere above. So we are between the two lines and above the slant line. So right now we're restricted right in here. Finally, I have y is less than or equal to 4. That's a horizontal line at 4. 2, 3, 4. I want everything below this line, which is there. So I want... this region. Okay. Well, what we've got, um, it appears, is a trapezoid. Now, we're asked to find the area of this figure. And since all of you took geometry last year, we should know that the area of a trapezoid is equal to half times the height times the sum of the bases. Okay, the height is the distance between the parallel edges. Okay, so this side and this side are parallel. The distance between them, we just count the boxes, is five. The parallel edges are the bases. Uh, so this length is one, plus this length, if you count the boxes, six. So we have 5 halves times 7. So we're going to have an area 35 halves units squared.